Hello, hello, hello. Good to see all of you smiling faces again. Let's start off with this week's video. Today's topic are 10 things that I don't buy anymore as a minimalist. Random side note, minimalism isn't the only reason I don't buy some of these items anymore. Other reasons would be the environment, reduction of waste production, my carbon footprint, whatever. Let's hop right into it. Welcome to my kitchen. Why are we here? Two things, aluminium foil and clinch film. I wouldn't buy those anymore. I understand why people do. I, I did as well. You made some food, didn't eat it all, and you want to cover it up and put it in the fridge. But, well, you only use it once, so create a lot of garbage, a lot of waste, don't you? So what I do is use this, the good old Tupperware. I've got a bunch of these, and they do the same job. I can reuse them multiple times for for years, in fact. I don't create that much waste. The food is better stored in this than in a bowl covered with clinch foil. Win-win all through. And yes, I know this one is plastic. I only have plastic ones because they are cheaper than the glass ones. It is a financial topic, of course it is. In some point of the future, it just Still fine, quality is good, they're working perfectly, I don't need to replace them. But at some point in the future, if I need new Tupperware, I will definitely buy a glass option because that's a bit more sustainable, I think. You know what I just realized? I'm hungry. Hmm. I need to go grocery shopping. And actually, that brings me to the next point. Something else that I wouldn't buy anymore are plastic shopping bags. You get them in the grocery shop, you can put your groceries in there, you bring them home, and I know the intention behind them is to reuse them, but let's be honest, the quality is never that good that you can use them more than twice or three times. They will always tear apart very easily. And the same thing goes for those paper bags. Did you know, and I just learned that quite recently in a documentary, that because of how those paper bags get produced, the impact on the environment is roughly the same, so it doesn't make that much change. So what I would advise you is the same thing that I would, just use a backpack. If you could grocery shopping, a backpack, so that's sustainable, that's high quality, that wouldn't just tear apart. I've used this for many years. Or if you do more intense grocery shopping, what I do is take this one. This is an IKEA plastic bag. Always when I go for a bigger grocery shopping, like like a weekly shop or anything like this, I will bring that one. Because that can carry a lot, that is very sustainable. This was a one-time expense and I will keep using that for many, many years, so... That's good. And while we are in the kitchen, I used to buy a lot of paper towels. But I realized that paper kitchen towels not only are some expense over the years, but also you're producing a lot of waste for no good reason. So what I do instead of buying paper kitchen towels, well, I use this. These are regular kitchen towels and you would use them for exactly the same things. You may, you, you clean your dishes, you need to dry them. You use one of those, right? So why not use it for everything else? I, I bought 10 of these, came in a pack of 10, cost me about 15 bucks. Those are the norm in German gastronomy, like restaurants and bars. So they work just very, very good, very fine. Yeah, don't buy paper kitchen towels anymore. My current workout routine is very simple. Running a golf or walk every morning, high intensive interval trainings three times a week and four times a week doing yoga. So no weightlifting. And of course, because of that, the necessity of me buying it in the first place could be discussed extensively. I personally like to get my nutrients out of normal self-cooked food of just regular ingredients. And besides that, most of those so-called protein products, especially things like a protein chocolate bar, yeah, they have more protein than a regular chocolate bar, but still, nutrition-wise, it's mostly carbs and saturated fat, so it's not that good, isn't it? I don't buy protein products. Ha! The plant tickled my ear. 
Decorations are things that I don't get that much value out of. You could say that I do have decorations with plans like this and the tiny one up here and also that frame that framed quote from Oscar Wilde over there that is I mean you could call that decoration other than that no it's just not my kind of thing same goes for holiday decorations I don't really celebrate holidays like Christmas or Easter because well I, I don't find decorations like this pleasant for the eye before we continue with the list, are there things that most others buy regularly that you don't anymore? Things that you used to buy but don't anymore for whatever reason might be minimalism, the environment, whatever. Let us all know down in the comments. Let's have a little conversation. Whenever you're on vacation, you always end up buying things like fridge magnets, postcards, souvenirs of some sort. Why do we do that? Well, because we need a little reminder, a little something that brings back all of the memories. And I've already talked about this in a video at somewhere in the past. Items don't hold memories. We are, we human beings, we hold memories. So the items just trigger the memories. And I don't buy souvenirs anymore because they just, don't end up being used or being valued as such thing. And every time that I want to bring back a memory of a vacation or bring back some happy memories of some happy days, I would always rather look at photos because it's more pleasant, isn't it? This one is something very interesting because I used to actually be a big sucker for jewelry and perfume in my past and I'm still for perfume at least, but I'm not anymore for jewelry. So I don't have jewelry anymore and I wouldn't buy it anymore. The only jewelry that I carry, but that also serves a purpose is my watch, my Apple watch. When it comes to perfumes, that's a bit of a different story. You see, currently I've got five. You only see four here because the other one is actually in my girlfriend's apartment so that I have some perfume there to put on. I love the smell of a good perfume. I really, really do. But becoming a minimalist, I asked myself, why do I have so many? I don't buy jewelry anymore, already said that. And I will also not buy perfumes anymore. I still have four of them. And when I'm all done with that, I will settle on just having one. Similar topic, clothing. Story time. A few years ago, I bought a Lacoste polo shirt for 130 euros and it ended up becoming a sock, a sleeve for my iPad. Despite the matter of fact that this is one of the nicest fabrics that I've ever touched. It's very smooth, very lovely to the feel. I wore it for a few times, also washed it for two or three times with it ending up shrinking that much in size that it would barely cover up my belly button. Again, 130 bucks for a polo shirt that shrinked in size even though I washed it as advised on the label. That is ridiculous. Compared to what I wear now, I've got 10 of these black shirts from a company called Asket. Very high quality. I can wash them as much as I want. They will always look good. They will always look nice. One of these is like 35 bucks. Still some amount of money, but in terms of quality, so much better than the Lacoste one, my problem with expensive clothing is this, especially when it comes to like t-shirts, they will always have a logo on them, like very small here or very big all over the place. When you walk around in public, everyone sees, ah, he's wearing a Lacoste shirt or he's wearing a Tommy Hilfiger shirt because of the logo. So what you're basically doing is you spend a lot of money for something that isn't that much better in quality than what you also can buy without any logo of it. And secondly, you act as a billboard. If a company like this wants to make a TV spot, like a commercial or an ad on YouTube or anything like this, a company like this pays a lot of money. <laughs> what are you doing? You go ahead, buy something, so you spend money so that you can act as a billboard. Because well, without the logo, nobody would know what company it is from. And me personally, I like to walk around not being a billboard. Not anymore. I used to love to do that, but that's just conspicuous consumption. If you don't know what conspicuous consumption is, I link the Wikipedia article down in the video description that would really advise you to have a look at this. I decided to don't spend money on that anymore. 
I would only buy items that are on sale if it is something that I already thought about buying in the first place. Because I think you can get easily trapped you walking around in town or shopping online and then you see a big sign that says sale and you say, oh, nice, that's some cheap, I'm gonna have it. But you don't really need it and I try to prevent that. So if I wanna have something, I buy it. And if, if I can foresee that in the future there will be a sale because of seasons or whatever, then I will wait and buy it then. But I, I don't buy things anymore that are for sale just because they are for sale. DVDs and Blu-rays and CDs. Well, CDs, I don't buy CDs anymore since 2008, 2009. Always bought them on iTunes and now using Apple Music makes it much more easier. When it comes to movies like DVDs and Blu-rays, I do still own some of them but I don't like it. I, I do still buy movies because I, I do love movies, I really do, but I buy them on iTunes. That's what I do for multiple reasons. First, I never really liked the idea of having like shelves and cupboards filled with hundreds of these, right? Because I don't, I don't find it very appealing to the eye, like just standing around and being cluttered. Secondly, buying a Blu-ray or DVD as a physical object costs about the same as it would buying them on iTunes. Only difference is, if you lose it or break it, that's gone. While on the other hand, all the movies that I bought on iTunes, they are forever connected to my Apple ID. So I can't lose them, I can't break them, they will be there for me whenever I need them. And the third reason why I don't like buying them as a physical object, well, that's plastic. Simple as that. Still there. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all a nice day. Can't wait to see you around next week. And um, uh, okay, I, I sat. Thank you very much for watching. I sat. That, that's it. I, 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 I wish a nice day. And. I also said, um, yeah, I can't wait to see you around. Yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>